guys welcome back to my channel Naomi here if this is your first time stopping by my channel you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back right so it's um is this this is Friday I think I think so <laughs> and I've started a new vlog if you're wondering what is this or what this is or what's going on I am attending a driver's license class for an exam and I quickly went to work because I had a client come in and everything just happened really really fast this is me on my way to hang out with a friend um kind of like a date setting you get all right so, yeah so this is your cue to please give this video a thumbs up if you like it already consider subscribing if you like my content if this is your second or third video that you're watching of me and you're not yet subscribed what are you even doing please consider hitting the subscribe button and also the bell so that you always get a notification every time we have a, a new upload yeah thanks guys So I already love this restaurant like it's so pretty it's, it's pretty small but it's cute I love the chairs the furniture is so beautiful the settings the colors everything is just so beautiful so I ordered uh, a glass of um, Chapman and we also ordered this platter um, the food looks good and it should taste even better but it didn't so I definitely going I'm definitely going to read this food a seven over ten yeah and i have my reasons i feel like the jello fries uh the first thing that hit us when we you know tasted it was garlic like i think it was too much it was overpowering the rice and yeah i'm not really a fan of um, spice like garlic i mean i i like it in my food but too much of it becomes a problem and what else the chicken was too dry it wasn't as yummy or as succulent as you'd enjoy or oh, i would like to enjoy my chicken i don't know if you get what i'm saying i mean it's fried chicken but they dipped it in the sauce but i don't think they allowed the sauce to really get into it they just brought it out like that but yeah other than that it's a pretty pretty cool restaurant look at their utensils so nice like it's it's gold i'm just realizing this now <laughs> Up to do like it's so pretty. I tried to do this wing thing. You see that? All right, guys. So it's a wrap. It was a beautiful date night out. My boo doesn't want to show his face. Oh my god, my face is already oily. Well, I didn't use a primer, so that's what's up. But my, I just requested for my ride, and it's very very close. So yeah. Bye guys, so I'll see you maybe if I have fun stuff to show tomorrow. Bye! Hi guys, good morning. Naomi here. So this is uh, the next day. I came home from my uh, date dinner thing that I had yesterday. It was amazing. I had the most fun. Uh, I was glad I went out right so um i'm taking down i'm washing my hair today i already took out the ponytail you guys when i was taking it down i mistakenly cut some portion of my hair i'm going to look for it to show you guys because the guy used some thread yes you see do you guys see how much 
portion of my hair I cut off like this is so annoying like I wanted to cry not like I wanted to cry I cried already like I'm like it's just hair big it's no big deal the point is uh, my hair is about two to three months going to three months now post relaxer so it's very difficult now for it to lay down flat like really really sleek and that's why um, I'm taking down the hair today because it's not looking fine anymore plus um, the gel whatever he used to gel down my hair or all those sprays it's just been giving me discomfort like my head has been itching me basically yeah so i'm going to wash the hair today and i'm using my trusties the mega growth anti-dandruff um shampoo treatment and the conditioner um yeah so i don't know if i'll be showing you guys that but anyway yes that's what i'm doing right now um so there's a lot of gel in my hair and i had to use i went to boil water so i'll be using some warm water because i won't be using that uh, cold water to wash my hair warm water to wash my hair and uh, that's what I'll do Alright guys, so I pretty much used up all the uh, aloe vera I have here, everything, that whole strand of leaf I was holding, I put everything on my hair and my hair feels soft, it feels really soft and now I want to detangle the hair. So I will start pretty much from the tip, I'm going to step back so you guys can see here. I still haven't washed it off, I am it off. But I just decided to go do the extra work and make sure that I get the aloe vera all over my scalp and my hair as well. So one thing you need to know, I think we've been saying this over and over, um, aloe vera has been my number one secret. Like it's so good for my hair and I always, always do it. guys so i'm out of the shower and my hair is still damp it's not dried yet but it's damp and it still feels super super soft now the last thing i want to do is just to follow up with my hair oil and i'm about to head out of the house now i have an appointment at work by 11 and it's just past nine so i'm just trying to finish up things here so that i can quickly get to um, the office and get ready and set up for my client um, and I also have to go in to write my driver's an exam for my driver's license they say it's compulsory I have to write the exam <laughs> that is so crazy so I attended the class yesterday and if you saw and those were some clips I was showing you guys earlier so I'm just putting this oil on my scalp and just massaging this at the same time I'm going to give this a good massage just to ensure my scalp is not dry
and that's it so i'm just going to pat the hair the way i want it and put it in a tiny ponytail and just let it be no heat styling in fact i'm no more doing anything heat to my hair till december so help me god <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, I'm almost done out of the house already. I just want, quickly wanted to show you guys this. This is a this is an insecticide. Um, it kills mosquitoes, cockroaches, ants, and all of that good stuff. So I uh, have. Whoa. <laughs> I feel tongue tied. Basically, yeah, while I was away at school writing my exams, my room was literally infested by lots and lots of mosquitoes. So I needed to get one of these, and I didn't want to get those regular mortin and the rest because they would choke you to death. And me, my nose can pick up anything as as far as there's something there and my nose is basically allergic to strong smells or whatever so that's why i don't really use okay the point is this stuff is good eh i talk too much <laughs> this stuff is good it doesn't have any kerosene or anything that's harsh or they they they, they say you can spray inside and stay inside but me i doubt that i can stay inside it anyway but all you need to do is to puff puff for two times in the four corners of your room and you're good to go plus the smell is actually very pleasant it's, it's very good so i'm just going to do that and the corners one two you see that's all you need so you just um i really lock up my windows so and then under my bed so you can get mosquitoes and corners that I know it can't touch anything with my shoes so that's that and that's what it looks like so I just put it on my shelf here so that I can always get to it and then I'll shut my door so you want to shut your doors and your windows at the same time so that the product or the thing can actually work and kill all the mosquitoes because it's not funny when you're sick with malaria <laughs> at all.